Is your PC underperforming in games that should run smoothly? Well, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you four hidden Windows tweaks that nobody talks about. These tweaks gave me a 20% FPS increase in Fortnite, and I'm going to prove it. We test the system tweaks in Fortnite to see how they impact FPS and latency, and these tests show exactly how each tweak affects Fortnite performance on most setups, so let's break it down. Firstly, let's talk FPS gains. Let's look at the average FPS and the 1% load numbers. Disabling NTFS tunneling gives the biggest average FPS boost as a 1% to 2% increase in smoothness, just by fixing some Windows files. Next, kernel threats. 263 peak, which is the highest, and this tweak helps your CPU handle sudden frame spikes during intense moments, like those crazy endgame fights. A quick heads up, combining all tweaks together actually lowered the 1% lows. This proves that some tweaks conflict with each other and we'll fix that later. Let's go on to the latency results. Issue timers reduced exit times by 4%. Disabling dynamic ticks actually increased latency, which is why I always tell laptop users to skip it. And next up we have NTFS tunneling, which actually worked wonders. It improved both FPS and latency, which is a rare double win for most cases. I found the sweet spot for almost every setup. What you want to do is disable NTFS tunneling for the FPS and latency boost and use distribute timers for smoother frame rates. And if you're using a spoofer, skip kernel threads. So combining all the tweaks gave balanced results, but some settings don't stack as well. I recommend going for the sweet spot, which I said before. And all these tests were done under consistent conditions for fairness. And if you're looking for a smoother gameplay or better responsiveness, I recommend you start with the distribute timers first and let me know which tweak gave the best result. Or if you want me to try these on other games. And without further ado, let's get into how to do these tweaks. Now, after downloading the file, you can put in the virus total. And as you can see, zero detection of the file is completely safe. It is a .bash file, it is open source, so you can right click, click edit, and see every line of coding. I recommend you create a restore point in case you want to restore everything back to the default, even though I added a restore defaults option. So that's just being safe. Right click, run as administrator. So here are the options one by one, or you can apply them all. I recommend just starting with the distribute timers, like I said before, and then one by one going through all of them to see which one improves your FPS and your latency. And after that, you can just exit, restart your PC, and you'll be good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys benefit from this. And if you do, check out my YouTube. I'll be putting out more tutorials soon. Join our Discord. And I recommend you check out ryzentweaks.com. Use code YT15, that's on the screen right now, for 15% off checkout. I'll link it down below too. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye.